a uh, net training and engagement in 2022 again. It's uh, Dr. Sarah King will be thank you to us. <laughs> so yeah, this is me now with my Arnett hat on, um, and I just wanted to give everyone an update on what we're up to for 2022. So those of us, for those of you who don't know, Arnett Arnett is Australia's academic research network. It's a not-for-profit company that provides the ultra high-speed internet and communication services that you get as in Australia through the research and education sector and as that network provider for Australia's universities and research institutions our aim is to support all researchers to maximize their use of the available technologies and the supporting network capabilities so our training is about Arnet. so what do we offer we've got the network and this is something that spans the continent it's a physical thing it's got lots of geographically diverse points to it uh, and that is a substantial investment and capacity for uh, not only the major centres, but rural, regional and remote uh, locations around Australia. Um, and we connect everyone through multiple 10 and 100 gigabit per second links uh, and also internationally. We offer Cloud Store, which is our file sync, share and storage service. And we also have SWAN, which is the service for web-based analysis where we host Jupyter Notebooks. So you can uh, do your coding in the cloud. Uh, we also have a uh, big data transfer. Like if you've got something really amazing, you need to call in the experts. We're us and that's like people working with those big powerful telescopes, supercomputing and all that sort of stuff. We're offering cybersecurity as well uh, to help universities detect and manage threats. And I'm thinking about potentially trying to put together some training around that. We'd love to know if you're interested. Uh, and we do research collaborations, trying to help people link virtual labs, imaging, sequencing, all of the different collaborations that occur around the sector. So our, our training is focused on demonstrating these services that we provide, such as Cloud Store and Swan, and trying to uh, help people understand networks and data movement to be able to make the most of it. So we call this, or it is called, an infrastructure literacy. And that is a term that encompasses that practical knowledge of needing what that you need when you need to transfer, store and manage research data of any size, really, uh, in any of those complex scenarios that we're all dealing with, with the research data lifecycle. Um, so what we're doing and where we've come from, I suppose, with the uh, training, we have expanded from kind of old school face to face workshops and that's pandemic induced, of course. And now we have a whole suite of different options to try to meet people's needs where people are at at the moment. And so that includes workshops that are currently being done online via uh, Zoom. We've got the Cloud Store Clinics, uh, webinars, researcher demos. We're doing YouTube how-to instructional videos, live and recorded demonstrations. We're going to improve the knowledge base uh, and we've got the SWAN online forum. And I'll just give you a quick look at these so you can see what we're about. The trainer, the train the trainer workshops are really for librarians, research support staff, uh, research analysis, e-research analysts, those sorts of people, so that then you can go on and, and provide something for your audiences. I'm a trainer of one, um, so that's the way that we've been able to manage this. So please contact us if you'd like to book these in. We've got Introduction to Jupyter Notebooks, uh, Network and Data Handling, and uh, active data management with Cloud Store. And at the moment, they're about three hours, but I can change, we can tailor it, whatever needs you've got, uh, we can figure it out. So we'd love to hear you about, hear from you about that. Cloud Store Clinics, this one's a new one. We just started last year, a little trial. So it's like a drop-in center, but online you can pop in if you've got any kind of questions that you have about Cloud Store. Uh, any issues that you've got, questions, uh, we've got the e-research team, Cloud Store and Service Desk team, somebody from each of those teams coming along. So if you're an absolute beginner, you'll be looked after, but if you've got some really tricky high-end questions, we should be able to um, get you started there as well. So this is also great if you need some support after a workshop. We're hoping to keep this going for the rest of the year and you can book in online. The other options that we've got is we've got an online forum for those people who are using SWAN. Um, and this is so we can kind of hopefully have a 
one to many. If you've got a question, that question will go to many people and some of our power users can ch chime in as well as the, um, the team here at Arnett. So we'd love to hear from you via the Signet. If you get it, Signet is a baby swan. It's a stupid joke, but anyway. So what's next in 2022, where we're hoping to get by the end of the year, we're going to get some research demos live and recorded ones. We want to convert those workshop materials to the ARDC workshop template, and that way they can be ingested into places like the OER Commons and Dresa. Uh, we'll be redeveloping the Cloud Store knowledge base. And just a hot tip, we're also going to be redeveloping Cloud Store itself. So there will be a kind of Cloud Store 2.0 in, in, the, in the roadmap this year. And we're also wanting to look at some sample workflows, self-guided tutorials and more instructional videos. And I really need to hear from all of you in the kind of things that you might need or suggest that will be the most helpful to all of your audience. There's lots of ways you can stay in touch and I hope to hear from you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk today. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful week.